Welcome to the Board of Selectmen meeting for Monday, October 28th. Uh, it is 7.15 and it's time to, for us to start the meeting. I want to remind everyone that this meeting is being recorded probably by, uh, both by the press and by our cable group, uh, ACMI. ACMI tonight has a two special assistants. Uh, Milo and James are here who are helping out and back with uh, doing the recording and making sure it all works. They're in from the middle school. I also wanted to say up front that if you're here for 6A, which is a one handicapped space on the Heights Business District, um, I anticipate that we're going to postpone that. So if you're here for that one, uh, we probably aren't going to actually spend much time on it. So that said, our first item up is the consent agenda. We have the minutes of the meeting, September 30th, which was a regular full meeting on a Monday. We also had a one item special meeting, it was a regularly scheduled but unusual meeting on October 24th. Uh, we have new business hours for Madrona Tree. We have a request for two one-day beer and wine licenses for the taste of Greece cuisine from the Greek Orthodox Church. We have a request for a drain layer license from the Rashuti Construction Company of Johnston, Rhode Island. We have two new election appointments, John Lally and Camelia Donovan. And we have a request for a permit for the Me Veterans Day Parade, Monday, November 11th, so, which is to, so just uh, for those of you who are regulars at the parade. The parade is November 11th, which is Monday. It leaves from 10.30, and uh, it forms up on Mass Ave down by Walgreens, and it heads up to uh, Arlington Center to the memorial there. So that is at November 11th at 10.30. Do I have a motion? I move approval subject to our conditions as set forth. Second. Is there anyone here for any of these items who wants to talk about them? I think you're an election walk right now. Uh, anyone who wants to talk? All right, um, not seeing any. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 I, uh, with, I have to abstain from the 1024 uh, meeting, Marie. But I approve my, my colleagues did, of course. Of course. <laughs> All right, I, uh, any, anyone else? Okay, moving on. First up, Mr. Gilligan, General Obligation Bonds and Notes, Treasurer. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Uh, I'm here to request the board to authorize uh, the execution of $6,851,000 in general obligation bonds and a $450,000 bond anticipation note. Uh, these borrowings were uh, effectuated on October 10th, and I'm very pleased to report to the board that uh, a couple of things happened uh, well in the town's favor. Uh, first, Standard & Poor's, uh, the credit rating agency, uh, rated these bonds AAA, the ninth consecutive time they've rated Arlington's bonds as AAA, as well, the highest attainable, as well as the bond anticipation noted as an SP1+, plus, which also is the highest rate available on a short-term note. Uh, and I think that's fabulous for the town on a financial uh, and economic basis. Uh, additionally, on the 10th of October, which was the sale date, uh, we were fortunate enough to have eight bidders respond to the sale, and we attained a winning bid of 2.59%, well above or below ex uh, our expectations. Uh, we had budgeted for 3.5%, just to cover ourselves conservatively, anticipated anywhere from 3 to 3.25% 3 for winning bids, and absolutely had a fabulous result. Uh, and I think that's a combination of uh, uh, the good work that the town has done, as well as our being able to look at trends in the municipal bond market, and everything just timed out perfectly. So uh, we received an incredible rate of return on that one. So I'm pleased to report that to the board. Um, the, also a couple of notes on this, uh, a couple of notations that, that are worthy of mentioning. Uh, part of this overall borrowing includes 
uh, final permanent financing of the Thompson School project construction of approximately $2.4 million. It's actually $2.426 million. Uh, that completes the Thompson School and, ba and basically, or in effect, completes all school construction uh, projects that were planned to date. Uh, so it's good news for the town. What's also good about this permanent financing is the Thompson School came in under budget, um, which is a credit to those people managing that product, uh, project, uh, but also through the efforts of this board and the town manager uh, and the school committee, uh, we came in under budget with respect to financing because of utilizing the sale of the Crosby School proceeds. So the project came in under budget, our financing came in under budget, uh, and we're looking incredibly well with respect to that. Um, and then I just want to point out that um, although town meeting voted permanent financing for the architectural plans for the fire station, uh, we did not move forward with permanently borrowing that money. Uh, we took advantage of a short-term note uh, for one year because of the incredible low interest rate of 45 basis points, which again is incredibly low, uh, but also because by waiting another year and waiting until construction is approved, we're then able to permanently finance that with the construction project over 20 years. It will take advantage of improved cash flow as well as the fact that by doing it then we will maintain lower interest rates because as we all know the shorter the term of a note the higher the interest rate so we have just performed very well with respect to the results of these of the bids for these bonds so if there's any questions I'd be happy to answer them thank you mr. Gilligan mr. Greeley so um, Stephen 45 basis points means 0.45 percent correct Is that so? less than a half a percent yeah yeah um, and just um, Thank you. You give a lot of other people credit, but you certainly deserve a lot of credit. Thank you. I, I appreciate the, the compliment. Of our fund. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Chairman, if I may, Mr. Greeley had asked that I read some of the bond <laughs> notes in detail. <laughs> no, all of them. <laughs> all of them? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Gilligan, I told everyone in back that I wasn't actually going to use the gavel tonight. I was just going to wave my hat when people <laughs> talk too long. <laughs> but this is a serious matter, so we should give it the time it deserves. <laughs> Not, no need to do that. You have them in front of you. And I would point out, I must point out to the board in all seriousness, you are expected to sign the tax document of which bond council expects that every member of the board, as well as myself as treasurer, has read that document cover to cover. Um, trust me, I have read it cover to cover, uh, and the board can rest assured that the information in that tax document is accurate to the nth degree. Thank you. Motion? I move approval. Second. Any further discussion? It's been seconded. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? 5 0. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, members of the board. Thank you all. Could you wait till the end of the meeting, though, Mr. Gilligan? I, I have something for you on the new business. <laughs> oh, if you insist. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Steve. Next up, request food vendor license moving from 152 Mass Ave to 148 Mass Ave. We have uh, Musfakur Raman doing business as DAGS. Did I say it right? Pretty close. Uh, how should I have said it? It's not bad. Uh, I'm planning to move from uh, location 152 Mass Ave to 148 Mass Ave. It's going to be like small convenience store just serving all prepacked food and the coffee and slush. So that's why I'm requesting for the food vendor license for my new place. Move approval. Second. Any questions or comments? No, my, my understanding is this is all takeout. Right? Yeah, all takeout. Mm -hmm. No sit down. Right. So move approval of subject yeah. to all yeah. conditions contained therein. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Five Thank zero. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Next up, Citizens Open Forum. Except in unusual circumstances, any matter presented for consideration of the board shall neither be acted upon nor a decision made the night of the presentation in accordance with the policy under which the forum was established. It should be noted there is a three-minute time limit to present a concern or request. Is there anyone here who's for a citizens' open forum? I'm not seeing anybody. We will move along. And we get to traffic rules and orders, other business, specifically Punjab, New Year's Eve late night event requesting uh, to stay open until 2 a.m. on New Year's Eve slash New Year's Day. <laughs> Hi. You Hello. want to introduce you yourself? 
Jaspal Pablo. Sorry? Bon Jaspal Pablo from Punjab. And you are the owner? Yes, sir. Okay. And he's the promoter, Mark. Perfect. Going to be promoting the event that day. All right. Uh, so you want to tell us about the event and what you're planning? We've read it. Mark, you want to? Sure. Please. I'll just take a couple of minutes. Um, we're going to do a uh, traditional fair starting around 10 o'clock. We're going to have uh, appetizers 10, 1030 until midnight. Uh, we, what we really want to do is introduce, uh, it's going to be a 21 plus event. We're going to introduce some people from Cambridge, Somerville to our fair. And what we'd like to do is uh, we're going to have some traditional music as well as popular music mixed in. Uh, DJ, there will be some dancers also performing some traditional song and dance. And we will um, serve a champagne toast at midnight. We're going to have a cash bar. Uh, food will go on until midnight. And at 1.30, everything will stop. Um, just a couple of points, and I know sure. this was done last year. It's very successful. Good to see you again, fellow bracket parent. Um, I see in here, but I heard something different from the microphone, so I want to get it clear that yeah. in um, one of the cover letters we have received, you have it's written that you want permission to remain open until 2 a.m. and also sell liquor until that time. I was going to make a request. Usually when I go to establishments at an event like this, there's a shutoff time. That's why. Could you... Are you saying 115, 130? 130 shut off. Would, okay. And then so, we'd like to have everyone cleared out by 2 o'clock. All right. I we just will have everyone. Drink at five no, okay. no. And then. Not that you would either. I'm just okay. saying. So we'll amend that yes. to what's in here in your application. That's a friendly amendment from you all. And then I just had a very, just a quick explanation on um, I understand 18 and 21 will have different color bands. No. Uh, it's oh, going to be a. It's just going to be 21, 21 plus, no bands. Mrs. Mrs. Bonner, I, no, yeah. I read the exact same thing you yeah. did, and only just now I noticed that one is dated 2008. I think we got. Oh, okay. I yeah. think we got the letter from a previous one, All but right. I was going to ask the exact same question. So let's just yeah, be really no. clear. 21 plus. 21 plus. Only. We will be checking all IDs coming in. There will be no one under 21. Okay, I feel great about that. Yeah, I was me, try uh, to limit all you. of us as well. I know no. when you come with a group of five and three or 21 and two or 18, yeah. and then I'm going to assume the uh, valet parking. Yes. Yes. Municipal parking lot. Is that yes. what you're planning on doing? And you have that all worked out with. Um, yes, we are just waiting until obviously approval okay. to go ahead, but we've already asked about that and we've been told that we can do that. So 21 and over, shut off at 1.30 a.m., event ends at 2 a.m., valet municipal park. Yes, and we'll make sure that everyone is dispersed, nobody is collecting around the place, and everyone is gone. Yes. Yeah, Kevin and then Joe. Yeah. Um, uh, are you looking for other dancers or as uh, you all sat on that? Uh, we did hear that you'd like to be, uh, <laughs> we'll be holding auditions in another week or so. That's after midnight. <laughs> the 300 guests in Wednesday ought to be down to about 10 by 2 a.m. when I'm on. Uh, no, move approval subject to conditions are set forth and uh, I, I know you've done this other years and wish you the best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Mr. Kira. Thank you. Just just two quick questions. Um, on the one one thirty shutdown of the bar, will you be stopping the music at that point too to try to ease folks along? Or... Uh, that's generally how we do it. Okay. So that uh, you know, we lights go up, we start to get coats, Good. ease people out, and try to do it so that not everyone is rushing at one time and it's nice and easy and pleasant. Okay. And I'm, and I'm glad. I'm also glad to see that you're doing the valet parking. We actually had a brief discussion of that at one of our previous meetings. So I'd be interested to see how the experience is. That's w w with it. Um, I'm wondering, do we need to take a separate vote just to to uh, set aside a, a parking spot in front of the establishment to to allow for the valet parking that night? I think maybe after we voted tonight, and it goes to the manager in the police department and Officer Rateau looks at it, if he suggests that we need that vote, do you think that's the way we should go? Uh, I think you can park there any time from 6 o'clock. Right, right. Uh, but you'll have to give a special dispensation from 1 to 2 because they can start taking, well, they start taking it too. What about the spot directly in front of Just the restaurant? Just to reserve out the spot for valet. You need to clear that with the police department. They'll put yeah. a sign on Yeah, yeah. I think that would be uh -huh. good. As a Very drop, in other I words, there was any action that we yes, have. A drop staging through. area. Right. So yes. Let's take a vote on um, 
Let's take Mr. Greeley's motion, and then we'll take up a second motion, and just I would say we just approve everything and say and let it, we'll turn it over to them, and the, yeah. because I think we're all on okay. board. Okay, sounds good. Um, yeah, I, yes. I, John, did you have anything else? No, sorry. Sorry, oh, sorry. let's go, Steve. Uh, I just have one quick question as well, and I'm completely supportive of this. Um, the capacity is generally 225, because I see you're going to sell. Capacity, you're actually sitting around is only 150, but we can have up to 300 people. Would we? Okay. We decided that standing. I mean, this is for a special event, but normally we have only 150 seat capacity. You know, okay. To sit down. To sit down. Standing, I guess. And we I decided that 225 gave enough room for people to go to the bar to have uh, just to move around. We wanted it to be comfortable. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we have a motion by Mr. Greeley, seconded by Mrs. Mahan. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Five zero. Mr. Kerr. Yeah, I, I would I'd move to, um, I don't know how to First, you want to move favorable action on the special dispensation from 1 a.m. to 2 a.m.? I would just say, I, I would say. I, 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 move, I move to, uh, to approve uh, all necessary measures to allow for a, the reservation of a parking spot in front of the uh, Punjab during the, the uh, period of this event uh, for the purposes of valet parking. Um, you know, subject subject to any conditions and, and change forth. and release any restrictions on parking in the municipal lot for the purposes of LA. Yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> we have a motion. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Appreciate Best it. Best of luck with your event. Thank you. And Thank remember, you. I'll call you to. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> but just tell my wife. My wife works at Bracken, so just let her know when the tryouts are. All right. <laughs> Okay. Again. Thank you. Thank you. Next up is we have two handicap parking requests. Um, the first one, 6A, has um, been withdrawn by the proponent for, uh, to have further discussion. So I, unless anyone has a particular reason to talk about 6A, we're going to postpone that one. No. And we can just talk about 6B, which is two handicap parking spaces, uh, Park Ave Congregational Church. And I don't see that we have anyone in particular to talk about that, but in our packet, we have the Commission on Disability reviewed at their meeting uh, the request to handicap parking. Uh, the request is to designate additional handicap parking near the church's main entrance on Wallston Avenue near the door to the parish hall. This is Park Ave Congregational. It has unanimous support of the Disability Commission. They had no opinion on the two-hour parking limit, and there were further conversations about that. So we, have a rec so we received a request from uh, Judith Phelps. Uh, she asked for par parking spaces and a parking change. And so we have recommendations for favorable action on the spaces, but not the time restrictions. Move approval. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Any further discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Five zero. Okay. So that's six. Seven. Approval. Issuance of RFP for <coughs> lease of space at Parmenter School. Mr. Town Manager. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So before the board tonight is uh, an amended copy of the RFPs that were presented to the board at the last meeting uh, for leasing the space at the Parmenter School. The changes that were made after the discussions with the bo uh, board was a, a shortening of the initial lease term uh, and still the inclusion of an extension. So what's before you tonight would be a five-year initial lease term and the option for a five-year extension. Uh, we would also um, put language in the RFP and then in the um, the lease following that, that we would have to reassess the capital contribution, which would be 50 cents per square foot during the first five-year period, reassess that before extending the option to determine if that was enough to cover capital costs going forward. Uh, so those were the two main changes the board uh, had looked for. We also changed the, um, the title of the chart with the uh, chart A and chart B with the square footages and the corresponding square footages Ms. Mahan had pointed out at the last meeting. Uh, so I believe uh, the changes that the board had requested were made, and it's here for the board's approval if they so choose tonight. I move approval. Second. Any discussion? Mrs. Mahan. Just, I just want to make sure I'm clear on this just because these numbers challenge me, and I'm in agreement of approving this, that um, the previous um, ISP International School of Boston, that 901 is going to be $9.25 9 per Correct. square foot. Correct. And then the same thing with the 668 for ACC, it's going to be the $7. Yeah, and those are, in the way this works, those are base amounts that just to qualify as a bidder, you need to bid that amount. Okay. Uh, oh. Should b both ISB, ACC, and any other potential bidders bid more than that, that's fine. But these are floors. And the successful bidders, whatever rate that is, 
being a minimum of, the a minimum two, of those amounts. Um, that's it for five years. It's not commensurate with inflation. Uh, no, there's a 2% inflator is, included. I'm sorry, in you could say that. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Any further discussion? Just uh, uh, yeah. what? Sorry, Mr. Chair. Excuse what? me. When is this actually uh, published? When is this actually offered? So, so if approved tonight, uh, we would publish it tomorrow and begin the RFP process. Uh, the lease would actually, any lease awarded would actually be taking effect July 1, 2014. July 1. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. No problem. I did have just one comment, which is having slept on this, you know, more than once since we've talked about it, mm -hmm. I feel really good about this. I really am happy with, yeah. the, with the changes we made. So yeah. I'm, I think we really got a good discussion out of that and a good result. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank Opposed? 5-0. Thank you. Next up, correspondence received. We have a stretch code update from Rob Garrity, Arlington Center parking study uh, from Ms. Paul Schlickman, and handicapped parking from Jack Jones. So um, look, I just want to handle them one by one if it's okay. Uh, first one is the stretch code update. I had passed that along to Mr. Chaplain to see if he had any strong opinions about it. And he, uh, again, well, why don't you just say what you, th your thoughts. Uh, so, so this is uh, in regards to uh, the board sending a letter urging Governor Patrick to move forward with updating the stretch code. Right. So I did, I talked with um, uh, Building Inspector Michael Byrne and he expressed no concern with us uh, moving in that direction. Ultimately, it will happen uh, as the building code is updated, the stretch code is updated as well. And since this was received from Rob Garrity, uh, we've received notification from the Green Communities Division that they are starting to turn their wheels uh, on the stretch code update. So it, it is expected, uh, and I don't think there's any harm in Arlington being a green community, having the board contact the governor to reach out and moving forward with the stretch code. Does the board want us to do that, or do we so, just want so to let moved. this do Okay. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Second. Any discussion? Can we just, uh, excuse me, Mr. Yeah. Chair, Please. can we just boilerplate plate this letter or should we write a we, separate one? I would boilerplate. I would be content with Yeah, we can facilitate plating. that. We can okay. make sure, you know, make a And do we just have the chairman sign or the chairman, all the members of the chairman and Adam? The chairman's fine. Yeah. Diane? Um, no untoward inclination or implication here, but is there anyone um, that we should, before we send out the final letter, maybe over in the building department that should look at this, or are we comfortable with? Yeah, I, I had a discussion with the building inspector, oh. um, and he didn't express any concerns to me. I mean, the, the stretch code does put an onus on, on builders and developers to build more energy efficient buildings, which can have a cost ramification, so that's a reality of the stretch code, but the t when the town adopted the stretch code was three years ago now, that was a commitment that was made. Okay, with that caveat, I'm fine. For the discussion, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Uh, next up, um, Mr. Schlickman's email. So the t manager informs me that we have a consultant hired at this point, who is doing the parking study for us about the center usage, and that we should forward this to the consultant. I think that would be a wise idea. Or well, actually, to the parking study committee. Thank uh, you. And they can work with a consultant on that. Right. Could I have a motion to that effect? So moved. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Uh, last but not least, the committee, uh, Commission on Disability, Town of Arlington. I don't. I think we only need to move receipt unless there's something else that someone wanted to do. So moved. Second. Move. We have a motion and a second. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Thank you for letting me uh, go through those. We do not have an executive session scheduled. Uh, is there any new <coughs> business? There's a competition on Wednesday night? Town day. Sorry? Town day, thank you. Oh, the town day, thank you. It's that Wednesday night. Okay. Which I cannot attend. You cannot. At what time is that? 5.30 it starts. 5.30. Okay. Thank you for the reminder. That's Sunday. Um, that the sons, right? Exactly. Jimmy Adam. Sorry, Jimmy. Yeah. Adam. Uh, number of quick issues. Uh, wanted to let the board know that we have gone through the search and recruitment process for a new town council. Uh, we have made an offer to one final candidate, and we're awaiting the acceptance of that offer most likely tomorrow. Uh, so hopefully this week I'll be informing the board of who that candidate is, of their credentials, and then hopefully next week or the week following we'll be able to, or the following meeting, we'll be able to introduce the candidate to the board prior to their start, so excited about that. Uh, very quickly, I wanted to show uh, the board uh, 
the latest accolade for Arlington. We were honored by the state, uh, the Department of Energy Resources, with their Leading by Example Award. Uh, it was given out to uh, two large municipalities and two small municipalities, along with a number of state agencies and uh, community colleges and state colleges. It really is a highlight of all the work that Arlington has done in terms of energy efficiency and renewable energy. So the work that was done on Solarized Mass, the Green Communities effort, Green Communities Grant, uh, LED street light changeover. You can see our fleet of Priuses parked in front of Town Hall. Oh my uh, lord. <laughs> <laughs> so we were able to go to the actually the State House this morning and they produced this nice graphic for us as well as this award which we'll uh, display downstairs. So I was very proud of that and wanted to show the board. Uh, I learned today that our LED street light changeover is uh, saving the equivalent amount of greenhouse gas, equivalent amount of uh, energy really as taking 90 cars off the road for a year. Uh, so that's a pretty impressive factoid I thought. Uh, so, so that is that. In this vein, uh, the town also has recently been awarded a $12,500 owner's agent technical assistance grant for us to be able to hire an outside consultant to help us work with a solar developer to begin uh, assessing the possibility of putting solar panels on some of our roof, uh, oh. rooftops of schools and a couple of municipal buildings. Great. So there'll be more on that uh, hopefully in the upcoming months. Um, also wanted to tell the board uh, that working with the recycling committee uh, we're trying to ramp up our efforts of uh, having businesses recycle more in Arlington. A number of businesses that have commercial haulers have a dumpster out back and don't necessarily have an opportunity to recycle. Uh, and that was concerning to the recycling committee, especially that given uh, the fact that state law requires certain items to be out of the waste stream. So what's happening is several members of the recycling committee have reached out to the business groups in the Heights, the Center, and in East Arlington to start to work with them to educate them about uh, the law and the recycling possibilities, while at the same time, Christine Conley, or, excuse me, Christine Bargiorno on the Board of Health, as they reach out to the haulers for relicensure this year, are asking about what kind of recycling services they offer and if they offer them to businesses. So we're trying to bring the haulers and the businesses together to increase their awareness of their need to recycle. Uh, so you may hear that's happening in the community, uh, so I wanted to let you know that. Uh, and finally, uh, we've been contacted by the Secretary of, Administration's Finan uh, Secretary of Administration and Finance's office, uh, and we are facilitating the receipt of the microburst reimbursement funding that our state legislative delegation was able to get for us. So uh, we should be hopefully receiving those funds in the next few months. So that's very good news as well. Yeah. And that's uh, my new business. Thank you very much. The, I'm particularly, the award is particularly exciting. Kevin. Uh, thank, thanks to Adam and the staff and everybody. Are those cars legally parked or should they get a ticket for <laughs> parking on the sidewalk? Can we get a, an after the fact dispensation from the board? For <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, uh, Adam, were we considered the smaller community? We were actually the larger community. Too large or uh, too small? Arlington and New Bedford were, were honored as larger communities and Amherst and Chelmsford were honored as, uh, honored as two smaller communities. <laughs> wow. Hmm. I was I was sure we would have been in the smaller. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, I think work. we're I think forty thousand actually was the cusp. Yeah, thirty-five, forty thousand. Yeah. So I think that was. So we're right. Yeah. And just one other thing, uh, Mr. Chairman. The this has been brought up to me whether or not this is uh, to be referred to TAC or the parking study or whatever. Uh, two different businesses in the center have uh, talked to me recently about the issue of. We have, um, you know, one hour, two hour, you know, there's different parking, obviously, and part of the study is, of course, help us coordinate that. But the issue is it, it's only up till 5 o'clock. And the issue raised was uh, to help businesses, should it be extended to like 7 o'clock or so, hmm. to, to, to uh, just to help businesses with more turnover, uh, you know, restaurants or whatever. But any. Uh, should I refer that to TAC or what? what? I, I will gladly refer that to the group that's working with the parking consultant to make sure that that's considered. Okay. Mrs. Kripelka? I'm, I'm on that parking study committee. That's right. We're working on that. That's one of oh. the things they're going to be working on. Oh, great. On. That, th I'm on that, aren't I? But just haven't been at that meeting. Right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Hopefully, we're going to. Never mind. I'll take care of that. Never mind. <laughs> that was good. I'm glad. <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kevin. Anything else? <laughs> You want to have a conversation with the fly? I'm done. I'm done. With <laughs> Diane, you're up. Okay. Uh, three quick ones. Um, for, the, for the town manager, when you think it's an appropriate um, interval, I've uh, gotten lots of questions, and I know various, all the board members have asked you at different times, what is the state of the never-ending construction site down the police station? If we're, um, I think we're at the point that pulling the bond and perhaps calling in a day and moving on. If you could just give us an update on that, because it seems like, you know, I've got, I know we've all gotten many questions about that. That's just been going on and on. And I know 
the town manager and others have spent a lot of time trying to make this work and I'm just wondering if there's at some point we just say that's it we're gonna take you know the money under the bond and, and get moving again so I can give a brief answer right now we, if you don't mind we have a permanent town building committee meeting tomorrow night where I'll learn the most up-to-date update but I spoke with the architect on Friday and uh, he believes pretty pretty sincerely that we will be wrapping up the construction by the end of November so we, we do think we're making finally some positive pro uh, progress on that but I can provide the board a written update um, prior to next week's meeting. And can you just <coughs> present us with, um, I'm sorry, that after you have that discussion with permanent town building as well as um, the architect and project manager that we get something that there is a cutoff date only because yeah, we've heard yeah. three times definitely going to be done by, definitely going to be done by as well as if it's November 16th once that date comes that you say on November 23rd this is what's going to happen. Or whatever, whatever yeah, you all I, think is appropriate. I just, you know. Yeah, for us, it's uh, with the Permanent Town Building Committee and myself, I think we feel it's less about a, an actual cutoff date and more about uh, a commitment to progress by the contractor. And when, when it, if we see that evaporate, I think that's when we are ready to pull. Okay. Pull the as long as you have something in your mind that, you know what, yeah, that this is the they time said they'd be out by November 3rd, it's November 10th, that's it. Yeah. Okay. And, and can, can I ask a question on that? And, and we're, we're, that's just exterior we're talking about, right? Or that's installed. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Knocked it down. But anyways, and then um, the other thing is, no, I, I anticipate everybody's watching the pre-Red Sox uh, talk right now. But I know people do play it back o over Tuesday and Wednesday. This Wednesday night, um, we're hosting the. Middlesex League qualifying competition and I just found out a week ago, which was really exciting, we're also hosting GBL, Greater Boston League. So there'll be 19 teams from, um, from 19 cities and towns that will be coming. Doors open at 6.30, competition starts at 7. Um, we only host this once in every 11 years because there are 12 people in the Middlesex League, so this is our time to shine. It's only $5 per ticket, youth to it, um, adult and seniors. Really great event. You're inside, and you do, you're not really cold. As well, I just want to let the board know because I know you all are on the edge of your seats about this, um, and I, I thank you for my ind your indulgence on this. Just want to report that the Pop Warner cheerleading A squad and C squad, which is the youth cheerleading program, eighth is middle school, C is between first and seventh grade, both competed at the Songus Arena. Um, both came in second. Top two obtain a bid to go on to regionals, which is November 16th in Springfield. Um, hoping that one and or both of the teams will be successful in Springfield, which means they go to nationals in December. We have two really good teams. I'm really excited about that. And if one and or both move on, I'm happy to work with the board. And I know that the chairman's going to talk about this event. I sure will. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't want to. Kill for it. No, it's fine. I'll be happy. You can to talk do. about it. If you miss anything, right. I'll let you know. Uh, anything you. else? Was no, thank, thank you. Joe. Thank you very much. I'll keep it brief. I don't want to be called for uh, interference as people are making their way to home. So. <laughs> <laughs> Obstruction. Obstruction. I'm sorry. That all day. Obstruction. That all, night. Uh, all night. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Um, first of all, I, I think uh, we should note, I think we have one of our middle school students is actually operating the, the, uh, the cameras tonight uh, for everybody who's, who's watching us. <laughs> This evening, or in the replay, so we want to welcome it. Miles, I think. Yeah. yeah. Could we? So, don't you think we should ask him to come up and just? Uh, oh, he's all hooked up. Introduce. Right? Oh, he's too hooked up. Can you come up? Yeah, you can come up. Yeah. Can come up. yeah. Oh, good idea. Just come up to introduce. Sorry. Like that was a look Mr. of terror. Carroll. What he did. It's a look of excitement. Yes. <laughs> this is awesome. Come up to this microphone right here. Right here. Oh. Can you pull it down just a little? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so how did you get this? How did you get this job? Um. Well. I don't know, I've just kind of liked doing things with movies. And um, me and my dad, we went to a little open house at ACMI at the building. And um, then there was all these programs that we could sign up for. And I originally signed up for the animation class, but not enough people signed up. Um, and then I saw this and I thought this would be fun. So we came here. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Is it, can I ask, is it Miles? Is that? Milo. It's Milo. Milo, oh. Jimmy Milo. Milo, yeah. Milo, so you've been operating the camera back there. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So of, of the five of us, which one looks best on television? <laughs> I don't know. That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll be sitting over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Milo, thank you very much. You're good welcome. Thank you. Right. Thanks. Keep going, Jay. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, 
this is, I think, the third time now a, a center parking issue has come up. But uh, I know it's like a, a broken record, but got a report that this weekend um, during the Arlington International Film Festival, both machines were broken and people were ticketed. The patrons and the volunteers were ticketed. And I'm feeling really frustrated about this, and I'm hearing the frustration coming out of the center. So I don't know what the timetable is for the parking, um, the center parking study committee, but if it's not imminent, I, I'm gonna recommend that we put this specific issue on our agenda and look at what the, the revenue is from those machines, what the costs are maintaining them, and what the track record is of, um, of appeals and adjudications, because that's gonna be a lot of angry people coming in when they're, they're yeah. ticketed, when the machines are, are out, when both machines are out. That's, that's a report I got. Maybe that's not accurate. Maybe you have other I, I do know that the report that came back to me was that we realized they were down on Saturday. Carol Kowalski contacted me in the morning yeah. She worked with the chief to suspend any enforcement based on the tickets being down, uh, machines being down. So I, I, they may have, there may have been ticketing Friday night, but I know Saturday and the remainder of the weekend it was okay. not the case. Well, it's just, it's, it's, so, it's frustrating because so we've gotten, you know, obviously some of the businesses have complained in the past and we had to make the special dispensation for the farmer's market. So it's, it's starting to burn a lot of cycles. Yep. So I put that, I put that out there and I may be coming back for an agenda request. Yeah. Joe, um, I am, I mean, I've, I'm totally with you, and I've and I've run up and down this hill a few different times. But I also so I think what we need more than anything else is creativity because yeah. I don't know what this. I mean, yeah. the, this parking study is the best result that I could obtain when yeah. I was working on it, and I'm open to other ideas. Well, if we're losing money on them, and I don't know, we probably aren't, but I'd love to see the data. If we're losing money on them, we may as well just suspend operation until we have that better solution in hand. But that's that's maybe a conversation, a longer conversation for another another night. But yeah, Joe, that's kind of Joe. Meaning we're having another one Thursday night, but they're going to have the report ready for town meeting. Oh, okay. Uh, and we're going to look into the whole thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because this this thing it's killing me. And just the last thing um, I, I wanted to note is. Um, Anyone who has children uh, 10 years and, and younger, the Chamber of Commerce and our three business districts are sponsoring a, a Halloween, um, you know, trick-or-treating at participating businesses um, from three to five children, 10 or under, on Halloween. Um, so, and I think even a couple of our town departments might be participating, I'm not sure. I thought I saw that on the, yep. I might be wrong. I might be wrong on that. So look for the balloons outside the business. But all of the districts are participating. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Um, yeah, uh, very quickly. Um, as uh, my colleagues know, uh, last week the board lost one of its uh, biggest fans in my grandfather, uh, Donald Byrne. And I just want to quickly thank um, everyone, uh, town employees, um, everyone throughout town for the outpouring of support my family and I received. Um, you know, the support, the kind words and prayers um, have been overwhelming and we're very fortunate to have everyone. Um, I once, uh, in high school, someone told me that joy shared is multiplied while grief shared is divided, and that certainly uh, has reigned true over the past week, so thank you. And um, that is, that's it for me. We're all very sorry to hear. Thank you. I have uh, only one item, and that is large and orange, actually in my case, extra large. <laughs> and uh, so we had our meeting on, uh, we had a special meeting and we approved a race, the, which was the trick or trot. Our new AD has organized some fundraising, uh, joint fundraising for multiple teams. And the, this was the inaugural Halloween road race that would ran this weekend. And uh, evidently we got swag from it. So I think uh, I would look forward to a, uh, I think it's going to be an interesting event to keep track of, and I would definitely support the efforts he's doing, or she's doing, excuse me, for our fundraising. Uh, anything else? Move to we'll, adjourn. We have a motion to adjourn. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Go Red Sox. Go Red Sox. <laughs> <laughs>